jealous and yep. wanted to keep her as her own, as I said, toxic. <laughs> but when she she went to bed, she she never woke up. This is gonna sound really sad, but also thrilling. But I would love to witness that. Oh, same. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Haunted Fate. Oh, it's goddamn Haunted <laughs> You messed up the intro! <laughs> keep it in! Keep it in! <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Hey everybody, and welcome back to We the Haunted. There we go. I am Trevor Haunted Faith, and we have... Lily, the one and only. All right. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be a relatively... We're shorter episode compared to most because last weekend we we recorded this one and the last one last weekend on the same weekend so we're doing a double so since the last one button, since, button. <laughs> yeah so since the demon house one was so long this is going to be a relatively shorter podcast about a local cemetery that's near me but that's the closest i'll say because i don't want to give away my exact location so, so saying that the name of the cemetery is Oak Grove Cemetery in Paducah, Kentucky. Oh, that, that's the, where I graduated college from. Same, actually. Yes. <laughs> um, I love Oak Grove Cemetery. Some of my best fo uh, photographs came from out of there. Yes. Um, and uh, we have some legends and folklore that uh, people have either made up or got created somehow uh, that are just interesting. Uh, and obviously folklore and legends are not proven to be true, obviously. Yes. Uh, th uh, then we also have document <clears throat> so documented stories about how uh, uh, a uh, person in the past named Della Barnes died and has passed away. And how she died and how her ghost uh, roams the cemetery, su supposedly. Uh, the story about her father. And um, I also have a, a ghost encounter that my girlfriend, Kayla, had at the cemetery. Because she's been in this area her whole life. And uh, she would be on here to tell the story, but she's currently, I'm sure, asleep in the next room. So, yeah. Uh, the first legend that I have, which is the only legend that I can find, and then Lily can tell you the other two or three. I uh, probably searched way too far in into this <laughs> than I should have, um, <laughs> especially with no sponsorship payments. If anybody wants to sponsor us, really should open up a Patreon for that. But <laughs> I yeah. have uh, really dove into this because I hadn't. So before we start your legend. Okay. While I was researching this, you know, I was like, Oak Grove Cemetery, where is that at? Didn't realize it was the cemetery that I had done a photo shoot in. As I say photo shoot, I was uh, uh, photo shooting some tombstones because I like photographing tombstones, but right. in a more artistic way. Um, <clears throat> and I had realized I've taken one of the ghost tours. So Paducah does the ghost tours yeah. of downtown and everything like that. I took the ghost tour of Oak Grove Cemetery. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't remember that I took it, but one of the stories was the Della Barnes story, but I don't okay. remember how they did it. I, di I just didn't remember it, so when I researched did, this, it felt all new to me. Did uh, did that tour do the C.C. Cohen as well? I don't know. Uh, like it, I said, I don't remember. Okay, gotcha. I don't really remember. Well, it's been a few years. I I think the that restaurant now is haunted by a girl spirit, but I think now it's called Sh Shandy's or something. I don't know. Either one. Oh, that no 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 no. That's a different tour. Oh, okay, gotcha. I okay. this this tour that I went on was solely in the cemetery and it was on foot. Oh, okay, gotcha. I didn't do the bus tour, or nothing like that. Or gotcha. I didn't do that. I do want to at some point just just to do it for fun because ghost enough. tours are fun. Yeah. But um, I did the one on foot that they have on Halloween. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. You go in the cemetery on foot and then like people are dressed up in like 1800 style and 
they come up to you as you're walking the path and they tell the stories of like certain of like the famous people buried there and one of the people that was dressed up was the Della Barnes and they did okay. the whole thing about her so gotcha well the first legend that I have which obviously this legend is proven not to be true uh but uh it's just I don't know how this legend got created it just said a man once told this but it's not true but it, it's just interesting to hear and read it it's, it's like a creepy pasta in a way kind but, of, uh, yeah yeah uh Della was once a heartbreaker one man gave her an engagement ring and I don't know what this said man's name is one man gave her an engagement ring but she chose to marry another so the man got mad and cut her ring finger off and she bled to death and kind of fast forward to the end i'll speak more about it then but um a statue was made in her honor and whenever the, sta the statue slowly decayed and got vandalized etc coincidentally her middle finger was the first thing to fall off so they're saying oh that's the story is true because that happened it's just a coincidence yeah but um uh, but your stories now your folklore okay so um do you mind if i well no sorry what <laughs> nothing so let okay. me get okay so here's what i found okay. on media dot medium dot com it was like a little blog of somebody's uh, family heirloom ghost stories how it was labeled so this is uh as quote another legend is that she was married to a doctor while he was out healing the sick she was messing around with a uh another man um at home when he had found out he surgically removed several fingers on both of her hands to make her unattractive to other men and i wrote a little side note that said talk about toxic <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> talk about toxic so i'm, I'm surprised you didn't do like a give you like a can, can i give her a hand joke or something i should just lend her a hand wink <laughs> 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 wink <laughs> everybody's like uh, i'm done this is it yeah. you can tell they're they need to leave <laughs> they need to leave this plane <laughs> yep another legend that i had found which <clears throat> it's gonna sound really repetitive because i found like three or four different ones but all of them basically said the same thing gotcha so, the next one was, you know, a business, a very old distinguished businessman was betrothed to uh, Della and she uh, was seen with a unsignificantly uh, younger man and he had uh, chopped off her ring finger to take back the expensive engagement ring he gave her. Um, yeah. You know, so on and so forth. Most, another one was just, that just said that he was a distinguished man so uh for some reason i don't know how these legends came up but some somebody had to mention that this man that she was betrothed to which i don't even think she ever really was betrothed to anybody nah, um i don't think so i don't think so either um had to make sure that it was um a distinguished man <laughs> yeah so I also did find a Facebook post that popped up. Um, it came from a page called Everything Paranormal. And I quote, it reads, documents claim she was accidentally poisoned by the doctor who was treating her for an illness. Some people believe that her fiance murdered her in a fit of rage. He even went as far as cutting her left finger off in order to retrieve the expensive engagement ring he had given to her, end quote. So basically the same thing as you read at the very beginning. Okay. But <laughs> it, gotcha. it's like these, her, it is so, it's really sad. I don't know who had it out for this poor girl. Um, they just 
every single and the, there was multiple stories but they all said the same thing like they're gotcha. oh the, she was betrothed and um was you know sleeping around with people and the person who loved her the most uh, chopped off all of her fingers took back an expensive gauge they kept saying expensive engagement ring and i was like why 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 did you have to quote expensive engagement ring that's kind of weird like nothing in the real story has anything to do with an engagement ring i know like where did i think i came up with a theory as i was reading this as i am very known to do i like to make up my own little uh hypothesis notes right or theories of uh what why some things surface the way they do i feel like maybe somebody wanted to marry her or had this like fantasy about her and spread these rumors about her after she died because i had noticed in one article that a lot of people kind of just started spreading rumors even though there was a news clipping that said she had died of this and this is it instead of it being like oh it's a mystery case there's actual documentation of how she died in an autopsy but somebody made up a rumor and went and ran with it and then of course people spread rumors and right one thing leads to another it becomes a legend so gotcha i kind of think that's what happened to this girl that makes sense it really does and i had (laughs) i was reading that facebook post and at the very end it talked about how Oh, and the angel statue at the grave turns its head in certain ways than it than you yeah. see in the past. And I was like, there's not a statue there anymore. Yeah. But then I reread it and realized that it just wasn't worded correctly and that it was about a different spot in the in the cemetery. Gotcha. And then I tried researching about the the um, girl, or not the girl, <laughs> no, the, the statue. angel, yeah. the statue angel, and I couldn't really find anything else about that, so I don't know where this Facebook page got that idea, I don't know if it was by word of mouth, or couldn't tell it was another Facebook post, I, I don't know, I couldn't find anything else about it, but gotcha. anyways. But uh, yeah, the... This is the true story of the death of Della Barnes, uh, as told by a newspaper site uh, on 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 online. I, I don't remember the the name of the site, but just Della I Barnes' th- death, Oak Grove. Um, it's the Gazette something something. It is the I I wrote down all the websites. Okay. Back. It is the Stoneman Gazette blog. Yes. Yes. Okay. Della told a friend one summer night in 1897 that she didn't feel well. So she went to take a dose of Colomel. I think I'm saying that right. Cal- yes. Okay, Colomel. Colomel. Known to be toxic because of mercury, po- mer- mercury poisoning, mm-hmm. but it's used to, f- to cure some ailments back in the day. Mm-hmm. But by accident, instead of taking the columel, she swallowed morphine instead. Della was perfectly fine that night, but when she, she went to bed, she, she never woke up. And after that, um, I'm just going to go into the whole story, then we can go from there. Uh, the real heartbroken man was really her father, and they and I, and I, 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 I write it down like that because in all the folklore it says there's always a heartbroken the man. The heartbroken man, the man yeah. jealous and yep. wanted to keep her as her own. As I said, toxic. <laughs> the real heartbroken man was was really her father, <laughs> George Barnes. He was a major in the Union. Uh, in, 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 in the Union during the Civil War. Mm-hmm. Della was born in 1874 when her father mm-hmm. was 38. And when, she di- and when she died on June 27th, 1897, mm-hmm. he never got over it. So to, to mark her grave, he hired a, a sculptor to create a life-size statue of her holding a rose near her heart. And 
Uh, on November 3rd of 1898, George bought 30 grains of morphine. That's enough to kill 10, 10 men. That's enough uh, to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> you think I could get 30 grains of morphine? I'm just, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> dark humor. <laughs> dark humor, yeah. If, if you're listening to this, I really hope you have dark humor anyways. Yeah. We're at the sixth yeah. episode. You should, you should yeah. already know at this point. Also, um, my birthday, <laughs> November 3rd. Oh, oh shit yeah yeah his uh he died on my birthday <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> 200 years before i was born no 100 my bad not 200 100, 100 just about 100 pretty close mm, math is cool <laughs> math um, is great <laughs> <laughs> on november 3rd 1898 george bought 30 grains of m- 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 morphine to get that much he had to go to two apothecaries and but he told one of them it was for a sick horse. Uh, he then swallowed all of the morphine at once with a bottle of whiskey. Hours later, his family found him, but he left a note in the morphine wrappers saying he took his own life due to financial embarrassment and the grief of Della's death. And then the only other thing I want to I, I can say about that is, is Della's grave was slowly ruined due to e- 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 erosion and vandalism or oh, and vandalism over time yeah i had read on um i'm pretty sure it was the medium blog um it was either that one or findagrave.com i can't remember which one i probably should have wrote that down a little better but um one of them had said that you know vandal since the rumor had started vandals always wanted to come in and take a piece of the statue just to keep yeah. Um, some say some of the vandals said that when they broke off their fingers, um, that it would begin to bleed and she would and the statue would cry. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I did read that somewhere. Yeah. Another one was like um all the fingers would be gone from the hands and then there'd be blood drenched in front of the dress on certain nights uh when the statue was still there, but you know. And there's also another uh, supposed happening where uh, if you go to the cemetery late at night on her death of anniversary or on her anniversary or like of her death, uh, you'll supposedly see her ghost walking just the streets, holding a rose to her chest, just minding her own business. Yeah, on the little uh, roads in the yeah. cemetery. I would, this is going to sound really sad, but also thrilling but i would love to witness that oh same like just this poor and it it makes it makes me really sad because she just died of an accidental overdose and she doesn't deserve to be there wandering around you know yeah and i and then of course vandals go in and destroy talk about disrespectful vandals going in there was one uh little post on the medium.com where they had said that there was when they used to go see the statue when it was still there um that sometimes there'd just be paint splat red paint splattered all over her dress just to from vandals just to give off that spooky vibe and i'm like why would you do that to a poor girl like yeah it's fucking stupid it is stupid it is it's sad it's unfortunately really sad hella and uh but yeah, that's fucking horrible. But to light to, to lighten the mood a bit, I got pictures of them because me and my girlfriend we went there co- co- mm-hmm. last weekend. Um, there is street signs on the cemetery, like mm-hmm. old fashioned. St- 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 yeah. St- and uh, there's two road names that I like. One's for obvious reasons. One's called Silent Avenue. Silent Avenue. I want to live on Silent Avenue. <laughs> the other one is faith avenue oh there you go yeah yeah <laughs> but now um, that, that one's yours i'll take silent avenue we'll just be neighbors sounds That'll good work. to me that'll um, work um but yeah uh and then the one ghost story that uh i can tell that my girlfriend like had an encounter and let me put 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 put, put this out here now this is not proven. There's no evidence that it was. 
she heard something there is a possibility that it is paranormal but she said outright there's a good chance that it also isn't it's 50 50 it just was a weird encounter but it's worth enough to talk about yeah her and her friends were at the cemetery one 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 night just walking around not investigating just walking around like on the roads just chilling and um because that's what we that's just what they do i guess and, uh, and um one night uh they supposedly saw something weird and said you know what this is creepy let's just leave and go some some so, somewhere else and they knew about the ghost of D- Del the barnes and everything I, I i like i assume that's why they were there in the first place and um as they were walking back to their car to the main gate as they uh, crossed, um, as they were getting to the front and crossed Della's grave, uh, Kayla heard a blood curdling scream, female scream, from somewhere behind her near the cemetery area. And um, she turned around and looked, couldn't see anyone, didn't, couldn't point it out like anywhere. And um, as they, uh, and then as they went back to the, the car, that, that's all that happened, but they were talking about it. Just a blood curdling scream. But also, another encounter, different day, d- different time. They were driving by the cemetery somewhat in the afternoon, and they, and, um, Kayla saw this, uh, white skeletal figure, like, on, like a skinny ass dog or something. Oh, okay. On, on the ground, or not really on the, it was, two feet off the ground and and she was like she didn't say anything at first she just was like kind of like glancing at it like did i just see something and then her friend you know, i feel uh, like can i can i say something real quick yeah, about that yeah. you said she saw a white skeletal looking dog like figure with limbs yeah somewhere near the ground yeah so we talked about baker's hollow before yeah and there was one night where i was driving away from that spot and i think i saw the same thing on the side of the road it was like a glimpse but it was like this white skeletal dog looking thing interesting so that's kind of interesting that she kind of it said it sounds pretty much exactly the same thing it i mean of course it was never worth me mentioning or bringing it up yeah, because it was literally just a glimpse. But may, may maybe that's one of the common ways for hellhounds to take their to 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 manifest. What I'm trying to say. Yeah, maybe. But maybe uh, I... the the story continues on a bit more, but not too much. Um, Caleb was like glimpse at like the hell, and then her friend in the back seat noticed that she was like looking at it, and. So her, her 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 friend at the time I I I I know her name I'm not gonna say it. She's like, wait, did you just see that too? And Kayla's like, wait, you saw that? And she goes, yeah. So of course they were already driving past it because they were in a car. So they turned around and came back. It was still there. The and thing was still there. I'm I'm not sure if it moved. Like moved ten feet or twenty. I don't know if it moved, but they said it was still in the area. But they had plans so they just kept going but they they still saw it yeah they just kept driving though like that time they turned around still confirmed that they saw it but they just kept driving but that was the that's only t- a rare thing yeah like, that's I, super rare like i'm not sure if it was literally in the exact same spot or if it moved x amount of feet no idea just the blood curdling scream which could be anything just it was weird encounter and then also the separate encounter of seeing this weird skeletal figure, yeah, from the road. Wow. Yeah. My experience with that, you know, I saw that thing on the side of the road, but I didn't turn around and go back and look for it. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just kept driving. It was, you know, midnight and I was like, I'm tired. I'm leaving. <laughs> the fact that they were able to turn around and go back and see it again it's yeah. rare that yeah. is a rare thing you don't if you see something an apparition a whatever a being a cryptid yeah anything when you see it the first time you were you are not going to see that thing again unless it's intentional 
Like they want you to know they're there. Yeah. So that makes me think that this being knew that that it was seen and was like, you know what? If they turn around and come back through, I want them to see me again. I want them to know that I'm here. That is fascinating. Or maybe by chance, it was a different entity that showed itself in the same way. It's it, but but too. but either way, like either it's the same spirit that stayed there for that long, or it's multiple spirits showing itself in the same way. Either way, it's it's, good, yeah. it, it's amazing. And one thing that I loved about it is, granted, they had no way to prove this, but what if it literally. Like, obviously, because once they were in the process of turning on the car, they couldn't see the cemetery. They were behind a a house and stuff like that. But imagine if it stayed manifested the whole time. Not just, like, in and out. Like, hypothetically. stayed. Yeah, like, hypothetically, because we obviously have no idea if it did or not. But, like, hypothetically, they saw it, (coughs) and it stayed manifested the whole time. And it was literally the exact same spirit there the whole time. Imagine. one takes a lot of energy yeah and two holy shit <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. my god Im- imagine <laughs> catching that on camera yeah having your reaction in that holy shit that is like that would be the paranormal finding of the century yeah that is so that that would be almost comparable to when Ghost Adventures caught that brick flying in Goldfield. The brick fly what? You, you, You'll have to refresh my memory. Uh, Goldfield Hotel, the Ghost Adventures documentary, beginning of everything. Whenever they did the investigation in the Goldfield Hotel, you remember the the brick flying? Yeah, it flew like out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said, I have shit memory, y'all. So yeah. <laughs> I, we, we just recorded an episode before this and i'm sure that i couldn't recall anything that we just said in daring it so <laughs> don't have a very good memory there but yeah i do i do remember the uh break fi- flying out of the darkness yeah it's like really j- like that yeah like that's the perfect find like as far as like capturing a, a ghost with other with your eyes run camera poltergeist apparition like that's just one of the gold mines. And if they had that on camera, it'd be amazing. But sadly, they didn't plan on even going to a cemetery. So. Yeah, just one of the, it's yeah. Oak, Oak Grove Cemetery is, uh, is a, re- a huge ass cemetery. Of course, huge enough to have uh, road sign names, as yeah. we just mentioned. Um, and to you have to drive by it to get to certain bigger landmarks in Paducah. Yeah anyways so it's hard to just turn around and go back and go in there in the first place even yeah. if they wanted to yeah it, it, it's like the the turning road that you are on is a very tight property like yeah they na- na- neighborhood road you couldn't if you tried yeah but yeah holy cow that is that that's insane um, that is a really good really good experience yes he had and who i mean who knows if it was her or if it was i mean there's so many people buried there and so many uh um very well-known people buried there um there's also animals buried there so you don't know yeah which if nobody knows it's illegal to bury um animals in a cemetery or graveyard unless without giving permission I, I did not know that. that. Mm-hmm. I did not. So if you don't have permission to have a animal buried on a cemetery or gravesite property, uh, you can get fined for it. Huh. Like I like I, I knew obviously like you couldn't just dig a random ass hole and drop one in there. Mm-hmm. But like like I know like like funeral homes will like have a pet mm-hmm. uh casket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of more like that. Like it has to, ha- there has to be a permission, gotcha, granted there to have it. And I don't know if it's just because of space, um, <coughs> or what. But I think there's a donkey buried. Is it a donkey or is it a dog buried at Oak Grove? 
I know I that's a random thought tell. branch. I could not tell you. There is an animal. I think it's a donkey that's buried in Oak Grove. That was a random memory that just popped up into my You're head fine. as we were talking. <laughs> Pretty sure there's something wrong with me. Anyways. There's something that, wrong with everyone. There is something wrong with everybody. And I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're all screwed. Yeah, we're all but, fucked in the head, but all for our own reasons. Is um, I don't really have anything else to I say don't either. about this poor Dude. lady. This was a shorter um, episode, indeed. It is, it is. Um, I do just have a few more things to say. Yeah. Um, if that is all you have to say about That's her. all I'm, yeah, I, I, I got the folklore, I got the story, uh, we talked about and had the conversation, and uh, ghost stories from Kaylin, but that's it, yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> I did want to mention that Major Barnes is buried right next to her daughter, but it's just unmarked um all that is left of her gravesite is the marble foundation that the statue did stand on and a uh, sun bleach shadow that's on the building right behind her um i think i don't remember if it's a mausoleum or not but you can google image uh, it and uh it has uh it, it is like a small shed size with gates and stuff in it so it, it is a mausoleum yeah 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 so i couldn't remember it's been so long yeah. since i've been in there but there is, um, it is a stain bleach shadow on the yes. building, and it's just because that sun hit hit that spot for so long. And uh, the uh, the mausoleum that's behind her, I've I had to guess because reading up on the history of George, her dad, it may mm -hmm. be a it may be a Civil War one because there's American flag zip tied to the mausoleum. Okay, there might it might be because it said that her father is buried right next to her, but it's just unmarked. He just yeah. doesn't have a tombstone. Yeah. So it probably is. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Yeah. Um, little fun fact before we end everything that I had found by accident about our sweet, sweet young girl, Della Barnes, um, at the Dry Ground Brewery Company, which is a uh, bar and a brewery in Paducah, Kentucky. Um, it's in a refurbished Coke plant building. They have a dedicated seasonal beer. It's called the Della Barnes. And it is a tropical fruity beer with a tangerine smell. So almost kind of like a blue moon, but a little more fruitier. Okay. I never <laughs> the had way that it was described. I'm, I'm going to have to try that soon. See, I am too. I saw that and <laughs> I was like, I'm going to have to figure out which season they bring that out in because it's one of their official beers, but it's the, a seasonal one. So they yeah. bring it out every now and again. I'm like, I'm going to have to figure out when they do bring it out because I want to try that. We'll see just her. Not only in her honor, but it just sounds so good because it's supposed to be a fruitier beer. Her death is three, 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 three days after Halloween. So it's probably in Halloween time. Three days after Halloween. October, November. She died in no, 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 November 3rd, right? No, her father did. Oh, her father. Okay. No. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> I am. Everybody just witnessed how tired you are. November 3rd uh, is my birthday, and we made the comment that she that her father okay. died on, um, <laughs> on my birthday, about 100 years apart. Maybe I'm the reincarnated soul of her father. We'll never know. <laughs> I mean, and wouldn't that be weird? Just don't drink some morphine and you'll be all right. I don't plan on it. I do <laughs> like whiskey. I do I, like whiskey, y'all. I, can, I yeah. can drink some whiskey. I, I can't stand it because I'm out 21st, but that's a whole other story I'm not going to talk about here. Oh, you want to know what? Drink, we're going <laughs> to, I'm going to spill a little truth because why not? I cannot stand tequila. I, I can't either. I can't stand tequila. Whiskey, bourbon. Vodka, I can do the only thing that I can Tequila? do. No, the only thing that I can do and, and and still enjoy is light beer. That's the only thing I can do. Really, that I think I might have a problem on my hands. I I can have a mixed drink here and there, I don't, but I don't have a problem with any alcohol besides tequila but <laughs> we'll touch on that later it's fine now. yeah but that's all i have on our on our girl della barnes uh she yeah. died really really young by an unfortunate accident due to you know back then bottles weren't really labeled very correctly with medical supplies and it was just one of those unfortunate events and this horrible rumor 
the rumor started about her uh why i don't know because she was a very loved member of the community everybody always had good things to say about her from what i saw and um don't know how yeah. a horrible rumor would get started but here we are here we are she but yeah hopefully she uh rests in peace and it isn't really roaming the gravesite anymore but we really don't know we don't we don't but yeah i hope everybody enjoyed this shorter episode uh, you get the really long one, the fifth yeah. one, and then you get the really short sixth one. So it's kind of like a little break for y'all. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. Um, I if you guys are here until the end, awesome. Thank you. We love your faces. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. All the links to all the audio only platforms are down below in the the description so so is our social media go check out our uh social media please subscribe subscribe for updates about anything at yep. all yes and yeah this has been we the haunted i am trevor haunted faith and lily the one and only i love that new name uh, the one and only yeah, <laughs> yeah. you like that uh, yeah. <laughs> uh thank you guys for watching we'll talk to you guys later Love yeah. y'all. Uh, bye. Bye.